We tracked that king down. We tracked him down. We brought him to justice. We brought him to justice. The law is here. Kings on the run. Like the outlaws they are. We bring him back in. Alright, 2188. I think maybe, maybe it's berserkable. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we got a Budapest. We got our Budapest Gambit on the board. Okay, E4, wait, we get to try out the Baloch Gambit. The Baloch Gambit. Me and Schrantz released a video on this on almost exactly the same time. Ugh, we have a declining... I could play your H5 if I really want. You know what? I do really want. <laughs> I don't want to just transpose into this. I do really want. Take my pawn, let me gambit, please. Yes. Alright. Now for the justification part. The more complex part. <laughs> I could have had an equal oh, old position so many times. Ooh, that looks juicy. That looks like we can make some threats. What do we got? Uh, Alright, well, let's play Queen of Six at least, to, if nothing else, to castle and use this file. If I play Bishop B4 now, and like Rook D8. Might be something there. But also just castling is very good. I'm torn. Oh my god, I have no time. <laughs> I forgot I berserked. This just hangs the bishop. That was the point. Hangs, hangs the bishop. Okay. Now we just gotta be fast. Now we just gotta be fast. Alright, let's trade off for that knight and checkmate you on h2. We already have that pawn on h5. We're already ready for our fishing pole. I could have even taken h2, but I want to take it with the queen. I want to take it with the queen. Mm, go for it. Go for it. Sacrifice and go. Sacrifice and go. Just sacrifice and go with all of our pieces. Here we go. <laughs> We've got this. We've got this. They're going to open up. I don't know if it worked, but I know that it was the right decision with 20-something seconds on my clock. Oh, I just realized I cropped my clock wrong. I'll fix it. Okay, takes. Okay, we got check. Oh, I could have maybe even gone check last turn. Check last turn takes, and then this comes with check, and then rook h2. Oh, there, there, there was some serious juicy stuff there. Okay. Uh, check. Let me catch that king. He's going to run. He's going on the run. He's going on the run. Uh-oh. He's an outlaw. He's on the run. <laughs> we need to catch him. Bring him back to justice. Outlaw king. Uh... Dodge the hit on my queen. All right, that knight is toast. I mean, can't let this defile open up. Uh, trying to hit my king. No, thank you. No, thank you. I just need like like if I can slip in here somehow. Bishop c5 and there. Oh, there's queen g3. Trades queens. Oh, you didn't even see it. Okay, wait, I can just trade here. Take this, take everything. But I have no time. I have no time. I'm up like a rook in a piece. But I have no time on the clock. I'm gonna have to flag him. Do it. Can we do it? Queen's coming. Queen is coming. Queen is coming. King's on the run again. And we flagged him right before. That was mate. Oh no, wait. That check in there was mate. We got him. We got him.
We got him there. I see that my time was cropped a little bit improperly. Maybe that's gonna be better. Thank you, thank you. Got illegal, real Phoenician. Appreciate the hype. All right, maybe, maybe, yeah, that, maybe that will have my time. Okay, we are ready for our streak. We are ready for a streak to get get back in the swing of things here. All right, uh, let's do one more berserk and let's get a von Popiel. Okay, that actually, okay, it does have my time. Good. What's up, Psy? B4, yeah. We got D5. Okay, and G6 looks very a little bit weird like this. Um, okay, wait, what if I just take like this? And now let's go H4, H5, right? Because he plays H5. But we still, I don't know, I want to deliver some strong threats here on like G6, etc. Do you have anything on the queen side? I don't really think so. Maybe I should have kept this around there to just hit e7. All right, pressure, pressure. Oh, can we take g6? I think we, maybe I can. Or no, I should just play this move, e6 maybe. All right, wait, let's, no. Okay, let's just play c3, actually. Let's defend this, and let me think about this. So, take, take, take. There was king d7 is forced. Yeah, these sacrifices are looking pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. We have three hits d5. Let's play g4. They cut their own bishop now, which is kind of what I wanted. Okay, g6 sacrifice has to be... Okay, I also have this. G5, I, I can hit this pawn. I need to coordinate my rooks. So, king e2. Okay, well, actually, no, it's not necessary. I can take, just take this pawn. So, we're, yeah, we're just going to collect this. Hmm. Check. Coming in, I have seven. And maybe this pawn's just very good. Uh, I didn't see this. Check. All right, my king might have a little bit of problems here. I got to step probably this way, safer. All right, well, I have knight of seven. Looks good. This is like almost mate. Almost mate. It's a crazy position though. I'm really not that interested in the rock. E eight, I would go yeah, I would just take it. F8, I have bishop h6. G8, check. Oh, wait. Check. Here. Check. Take the knight to here. This has to be good, right? Oh, yeah, wait. This is going to be mate if the king steps to the back rank. King h7 is forced, then bishop g8, king h8, mate. Yep. Yep, we got him. We tracked that king down. We tracked him down. We brought him to justice. We brought him to justice. The law is here. King's on the run. Like the outlaws they are. We bring him back in. We reeled him back in. We've caught him. We have caught him. It really went everywhere in the, in the past few games. You're on a roll, thank you. Past few games, my opponent's kings have gone all over. They're, 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 <laughs> sometimes they're hard, hard to catch. 
Sometimes they're hard to catch, but we got them. And we are on a 